Hey everyone, if you are like me and you like to game on Linux, you're gonna notice that compiling your own kernel becomes a necessity pretty quick. And the second thing you're gonna notice is that compiling a kernel is pretty painful. It can take a lot of time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to divide the compiling like kernel time by at least like five. Yes, you heard it well, five. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. As you know, I'm a big defender of uh, Linux TKG kernel. And what I was trying all the different schedulers within the kernel and making my own tests to have the best gaming experience possible, I kind of like went into a big roadblock, which was the time I needed and which was like required for the compilation of the kernel. And man, like each time, like burning 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, it's, it's just annoying. So the solution I found is called modprob-db. And I'm gonna call that modprob-db for the rest of the video because I have a real hard time uh, to pronounce this word. This utility is really useful. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why. When you build your kernel normally, the building process has to go through all the existing module existing in in Linux. But the truth is like you don't need all of them depending on your hardware. So this utility create a little database which is going to stock all the different modules that your machine needs and is going to give this information during the compilation session of your kernel and it's going to limit the amount of module you are just required on your machine. After creating this little database of module, you can keep it and you're going to be able to use it with the same machine on different operating system. So let's say you are on Arch today and tomorrow you want to go on Debian. You just take this little database, put it in the right folder I'm going to show you. And then when you recompile on Debian, guess what? It's going to be working. The only issue is that all the modules they are really related to the hardware you use and the different, like I would say, file system you use. Like there is a lot of like uh, different variables you're going to have to take in consideration. But I would say if you are using the same hardware, there is no really any reason for uh, this utility not to work anymore. So I know you like my pretty face. But we're going to go without my face like that. You're going to have a better visibility there. And I'm going to try to wing it with you guys. So here we go. We are using Arch, uh, by the way, fresh install and uh, no virtual machine or anything. Everything is there. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you with Arch because it's the easiest in my opinion. But here I'm going to put the link of uh, modprop.db there, which is, has been created by GraySky2. And you can install it on every distro like it's, it's not a problem at all i'm going to show you on arch because obviously like you know this is the way so i'm going to open the arch linux wiki like that we have it on the side there and i'm, I'm going to go uh, through the installation with you guys so we're going to install uh, mod prop db so i'm going to copy uh that real quick because i'm lazy and it's gonna find it. So the one I'm gonna go with is not the Git one. I'm gonna go with the, the normal one. So yay for the research. Uh, package to kill read, no. Difference to show, no. I'm gonna install it. It's gonna be super fast. Put my password. Do you wanna install? Yes. And it's done. So I'm gonna clean that. Now I'm gonna show you that it's there. Okay, Let's see if this works. Okay, so no config file found. So creating a fresh one in slash home slash rmax dot config slash modprob dash db dot conf. So we're gonna go there, and I'm gonna show you exactly what it's all about. This little software is going to create two files. The first one, you just saw it, it's a configuration file. 
And if we want to get ready into it, we're going to edit it real quick. You don't need to do that, but you're going to have everything explained here. And it's going to show you the module is going to ignore. Because obviously, there is still more module that you will have to uh, create, but not through the compilation kernel operation. It's going to be through other operation. And right away, like you put the right one here, the one who you have to ignore there. Uh, if you want to add more or if you need more, uh, you can add this line there. It's not, it's not a problem at all. I won't because for me it's enough. But just take in consideration, like you can just upgrade the config file, no problem. The next phase is like you're going to need to populate, uh, to create another file, which is going to be like the database. Okay. And to do that, you need to type the command mob probed db. And if I remember correctly, it's going to be store. And here you are. It just written the thing here. It's saying new database created in our home.config uh, slash uh, mob probed.db. And here we have 98 modules currently loaded by slash proc module. So Again, this utility is going to go in uh, the memory of your machine. It's going to check the module which are actually loaded. So the best way to do that when you, you create your database and make sure you have all the modules loaded is written here in the Arch wiki. Long story short, I won't go in all the different things. I'm going to let you read that. But you want to use every type of hardware, every type of file system, every type of like application you're going to be using on a daily basis. So you can do that in like two hours or one hour. Or you can do that, for example, in like one week, which is, would be like my recommendation for you guys, especially if this is the first time you, you use this software. And the best way to do that is just to boot on a normal kernel or actually create a custom kernel with all the module in it. And then uh, create uh, a little like cron here, which is going to populate the database every hour. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And like that, you're going to be golden, guys. So we made the config file. Now we have the database created here. I'm going to show you again. Both of those files should be there, and they are. I'm going to go in full screen here. We are going to install a cron. I think I like crony, but this software is going to be a software which execute task at whatever time you ask it to be executed. So here we're going to ask the task to populate the database every hour. So you will be doing your own thing. As you use your computer, the modules are going to be loaded. And in the background, this application is going to put all the modules you use in the database. So we're going to go with crony here. So one, proceed with the installation, yes. Up, it's good. So to edit the, the, the cron, you need to do contab uh, dash e. Uh, no contab using an empty one. Oh, we don't have vi. Okay, so we're going to install vi. Okay, s vi. Yes, enter. Okay, so vi is, you know what it is, and I don't want to need to discuss about that. It, it's just a, a text editor, long story short. So we're going to be doing crontab dash e. Uh, oh, we are in the file. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to copy past this line. And I'm going to insert it. So in VI, for inserted, you, you, you put, you press the letter I once, and then you passed. So I copy past that. And to exit, you press escape colon, write, W, and Q for quit. Enter, and you should be good. So now it has been created. And what's going to happen is like in the background, modprop db is going to run and store all the modules every hour. You let that go for one week, maybe three days, I don't know, and all the modules are going to show up. So to give you an idea how it look like, we're going to look at the database together and you can see you have all the modules loaded here nvme nvme core because I, I i'm running on nvme here uh you, you have like so like everything's going to be loaded but you will see the list is going to go up and up and up 
And what you don't want is like start to compile a kernel and notice that you are module missing because if you have some module missing, some of the functionality of your computer, they, they just won't work. So now you have done that. I'm going to show you how to integrate the database you just created in the compilation of a kernel. On the Arch Wiki here, they give you the trick to use this database with the Arch kernel PKG build. But us, you want to want to use it with a Linux dash TKG. So I made a video about it, I think like one week ago. Don't hesitate to go there and to understand all the benefits of using this type of kernel. But you know, if it's in the Arch Wiki, I'm telling you this is solid. You can trust me. So I'm going to show you how to compile a kernel uh, with uh, this database all loaded. So you need to go on the GitHub from uh, TKG. And we're going to go down there and we're going to start. So I'm using Arch, by the way. So I'm going to make a little folder here. We're going to call it uh, TKG. Go in TKG there, please. I'm going to copy and paste the line there. Press Enter. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something a little bit stupid, but you're going to understand. I'm going to type Control C on my keyboard and I'm going to show you a trick. So we cancel that. And here we're going to find the file called customization.config. This one here. And if you read the readme from GitHub, what you should do, you're going to know that you can use an external config file. And the default is in homes slash dot config slash frogminer uh, slash Linux uh, tkg.config. And we're going to create this file like that each time you recompile, you don't have to edit anything here. Everything is going to be working out of the box. Let me show you. So first, we're going to create the folder like that. And normally, we should have the folder created. I just checked. It's OK. It's there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the customization config into this folder. And I'm going to rename it Linux TKG.config. So I copied that this way. Now it's copied. And what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to put it this like that, like that. You see exactly what I've done. Um, I'm going to do a nano of slash on Rmax dot config frogminer Linux TKG. And like that, I can tell right away everything has been created as it's supposed to. I go in it, and this is the config file. And what now I'm in the config file. What I'm going to do, I'm going to activate the mod prop DB. If you go down a little bit, you're going to see set to true to use mod prop DB to clean config. Here, we're going to set true. And we're going to verify that the path is a good one. So it's home slash dot config slash modded prop db. We have it. So here we save, we exit. And now I can relaunch the whole installation process. So you, you won't have to do that ever again. Because now it's set up and you have your customization like file done for this script. So you just have to go on the Linux TKG page and follow the instruction if you want to create another kernel, recompile one, like simple as that. But each time I'm going to show you now, you compile, is going to find the external configuration we just created. You see the difference? So we're going to go um, yeah, with the latest table. One, uh, we're going to go Bohr, because I really like Bohr, uh, GCC, OK. It's going to download all the files. I think I'm going to have some dependency to install because this is the first time I'm going to compile a kernel on this machine. So we're going to go through it. And uh, when, when we're going to start the compilation, we're going to, we're going to write the time, OK? So let, let, let's see how it goes. But I can tell you it's going to be really, really fast. OK, so I guess this is a dependency here. We'll see. Yes, yeah, so I have a lot to install. We're going to install them real quick. So now we go through the setup. 
here he's asking me what type of CPU I have. I have a Zen 3 here, so 18. Uh, we're going to stay at 1000 Hz. No, no, no. Okay, so he's setting up the all like preface for the compilation, you will see. All right, so after that, we're going to start the compilation. So it's 147. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to, to compile the kernel. And you see, it took us like less than three minutes to compile it. I'm going to install it. And voila, so he said uh, two minutes and 18 seconds here in real. Not that bad, huh, guys? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart the machine now. And uh, we'll see if everything is okay. Ho, 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 guess who's back? After two minutes of compilation, we did boot on the Linux TKG board 6.6.2. And voila. So obviously you get the ID, right? When you have a pro like proper, fully populated database, then you do that. Don't do it like as, as I did here in like two minutes. You're gonna have a little bit of, I would say like more module to install, but it won't impact really like uh, the compilation time by that much because you're gonna ignore all the modules you actually don't need. So to remove, the line, it's simple as that. You're going to go back to your cron tab, dash E. And you see here this one. Well, you remove it when you are done. And you exit, right, quit, and you're good. It's done. If you want to keep it in the background, why not? But this is the main idea. You take like one week, three days, depending on your usage of the computer. When it's actually populated properly, then you compile. And voila! You know how to compile a custom kernel really, really, really quick. That's it, that's all. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, I want to thank you all the members of La Crème de la Crème Club on YouTube and on Patreon. I want to thank you, all of you guys watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumb up because I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I see you. It's the next one. You lucky bastard, huh? Now running a kernel TKG and compiling it in less than five minutes. OMG. Bisous, bisous.